What's up guys? Jeff here from Worldwide Cyclery and today we're going to talk about a little comparison of the Maxxis Minion DHF versus the Schwalbe Magic Mary. Pardon the interruption, but I wanted to introduce you to Jordan. He looks like the Pringle Man. So these tires get compared pretty often because they're both sort of your aggressive downhill tire. They kind of used to be downhill specific, but now everyone's sort of running them on trail bikes and enduro bikes and probably some cross country bikes out there too. So it's an awesome aggressive tread pattern tire, uh, both of these guys. And uh, yeah, they, they often get compared because they look similar um, and they're just kind of similar in the sense of what they do and the classification they get put in as a tire. As far as the differences between them, there's a lot of different sizes that each one of them are available in and different compounds. Um, so we're going to focus more on the tread pattern because that's kind of most important, right? I mean, when you're looking at both of these, you can see the price point. Schwalbe tends to be a little bit more expensive than Maxxis on older tires. I think these two will, will fall into that boat as well. Schwalbe is a little bit more money. Um, tread patterns are both aggressive. They both come in different sizes and as well as compounds and stuff like that. So the weights kind of fluctuate there, but they're pretty similar as far as weight ranges go. The number one thing that I would like to mention, because I have a lot of experience riding both of these things on a downhill bike and a trail bike, and my personal preference is the DHF. So Schwalbe's are awesome, but I'll tell you why I like the DHF. I feel like it's a little more versatile. And what I mean by that is if you're on hard pack dirt with a little bit of loose over the top, which there's a ton of that in Southern California where I ride mostly. And when I was in uh, Whistler with a Schwalbe Magic Mary, it was a dry time of the summer and there was a lot of hard pack and just you know loose over hard dirt there. And then I was also riding in Big Bear and same kind of thing. So a lot of hard pack dirt with a little bit of loose on the top. In those conditions, the Magic Mary, the corner knobs are just a little too high. It feels like they want to roll and drift on you and it doesn't really want to dig in because they're just it's a very aggressive huge tall corner knob and and that to me made it just feel when you really leaned into a corner like that it just didn't want to hook up or stick because the knobs were just too big they just almost rolled out on you uh, whereas the dhf didn't do that the knobs are a little bit lower they have a different you know just design to them and it worked amazing in those conditions and the dhf is kind of notorious for being a great tire in those kind of conditions, in dry conditions or loose over hard pack. The Magic Mary on the other hand, when it's wetter and you're in nice soft dirt like loam or mud, the Magic Mary clears mud better and those big corner knobs that I think are kind of a disadvantage on this loose over hard pack soil, dirt, um, are way better when it gets really soft and muddy. So when it's soft out there, if you're riding you know, an area where the dirt is dark brown and soft or muddy, um, the Magic Mary is going to be awesome. That's where these things really hook up. And you'll see a lot of guys who race for Schwalbe on downhill World Cups, they'll run the Magic Marys um, all the time when it's, when it's wet and when it's that really good, tacky, you know, loose, soft soil. When it gets really uh, hard pack and loose over hard, I think that's where a DHF really excels. So if it's wetter conditions, Magic Mary for sure. If it's drier conditions, DHF for sure. If you're riding both, right? Say you're traveling all around or you just want a versatile tire to maybe, you know, you have, sometimes you ride and it's uh, springtime, so sometimes it's dry and sometimes it's wet. Versatility, the DHF, I'm gonna say takes the cake there just because it still works good in the wet, um, not as good as the Magic Mary, but it works way better than the Magic Mary in the dry. So versatility, Minion DHF for sure. Um, but if you're riding that loose soil, the Magic Mary is, is pretty king there. As far as durability of these things go, I don't know if I've ever seen uh, much of either of these tires ripping sidewalls or, or getting torn up. They both have soft rubber and available in different compounds. So they're going to last on you. And it's a, it's just beefy, heavy, you know, downhill style tire. So I wouldn't worry too much about durability. They're both going to be a super strong tire 
um, that is going to last you a long time and you're going to wear through the knobs before you got to worry about the sidewalls ripping on, on either of these things. So yeah, both phenomenal tires. They have their pros and cons to each of them. Versatility, Maxxis Minion DHF, uh, loose, softer, wetter, uh, Schwalbe Magic Mary. Um, yeah, loose over hard pack, dry stuff, DHF for sure, but both absolutely great tires and kind of just work better in different terrain and than the other one would. So that's about it for these. Uh, please subscribe. Let us know if you liked the video. Let us know what tire you prefer or what tires you're running. And uh, yeah, happy to hear your guys' thoughts on there. Take it easy.